Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man. Giving you the truth. And I want to start a new thing. Uh, I'm not going to say no names when I do these, these videos on this series. Unless they say, mention me by name. Then I will gladly mention their names. But, two things. Number one, I don't have anything against any other content creators. But number two... I realize that it's every man for itself. And here's how I realize it. Because if you listen closely to what they all say, they make one thing clear. That in the black manosphere, it's every man for himself. Is it what I would want? No, no, I would want to work as a team. But they make this clear. Because I, I see a couple guys making statements. That's why I'm going to create this series. Which prove that they are jockeying for position. All of them, practically. Only ones that ain't is the team players in this space. Um. Uh, but I want to I want to go on two comments that I heard from other content creators. One, heard a content creator say that if you haven't, well, actually a couple of them, like at least three of them, have said this. If you haven't been out of the country, and one of them changed his whole channel, he changed like the focus of his channel. But I heard him say, at least three, might be more, that if you haven't been out of the country, you really don't know about these women. I don't agree with that statement, and I'm going to tell you why. And that's the first one we're going to get on. Number one, all women are the same. They do the same stuff. They have the same qualities or the same flaws as other women so that doesn't matter it doesn't see you guys get into this thing where you think those girls in thailand and the dominican republic and, and uh south america are any different the only difference with them is they selling you something they selling you a bag of goods but why can't they find their own men why do they have to wait for tourists to come in that should tell you something. So I don't agree with that. And another reason I don't agree with it, because I lived in Arlington, Texas. And while I lived in Arlington, Texas, I seen, dealt with, and met people from all over the world. If you move to Texas, you're going to be dealing with people from all over the world. Africa, Thailand, China, Japan, everywhere. And what, what I see is they all the same. They all the same. They Some of them just better at hiding those evil tendencies than others. So depending on where you've been and how well you grasp and catch on, that's just like saying that people who ain't never been to Jerusalem don't know the Bible. They don't know the scripture. They don't know God. You see how silly that sounds? But this is what people plural are actually saying i don't agree with that whether i like you as a content creator or not i don't agree with that statement these women are the same and it don't matter their economic status or their residence what country they in they all the same they all do the same stuff all of them so that's the first thing that i hear people saying i don't agree with that that's just you trying to distance yourself from the pack it's almost like manipulation but I hear these guys doing this listen man if you have a passport that's fine that's good I plan on getting one and that's not even why I said what I said because I know what I, I, I have friends like friends associates that 
they don't have to know the first thing about women. And they've been traveling since for the last 20 years. One of them just got on there talking about Kevin Samuels and he might understand more than most, I would say. But the comments he made about Kevin Samuels just told me that he really needs to sharpen his understanding in regards to these women. So that's the first thing. The second thing that I hear people saying on YouTube is if you don't have a ton of subscribers, then your content ain't good. Listen, man, you you already know that that's like dumb. Okay, in a fair world, if the algorithm and the YouTube and the, the people who work for YouTube were fair and they equally distributed all of our videos, whether you was an agent or not, my question to those of you who are saying this is, would this be the case in a fair YouTube platform with no censoring, no shadow banning, when people put a, a, a video up, it goes up in the order that it was received and everybody has the option to view it or not to view it. Would you have that advantage if that was the case? No, you wouldn't. You only benefit from people that YouTube do, does not want to be heard. So stop saying that dumb stuff, man. And and on this one, the second one, it's not just a couple people that done said it. It's hundreds of people that saying that garbage. Like that algorithm is fair. Like the, the recommendation of videos are fair. Y'all know good and well it ain't. Anybody that's on the government watch list, no matter what they make, they can make a video about uh, cooking beans. And ain't nobody gonna know about it because they probably gonna hide it. YouTube should put videos on there in the order in which it was received. Then it would be fair. But that's all I had on this one. Thanks for watching.